Welcome to this video. Continuation of the previous video with title, Agroforests and Action Plan for Existence. Extinction. In my life I heard many claims and also promises, but I never heard a realistic and functional action plan, based on the principles of forests and agroforestry, and human problems grew exponentially and became a perfect storm that possibly passed the point of return to be resolved without an initial extinction of large part of all humans. Signs of Irreversible and Imminent Extinction? In my videos I demonstrate the clear signs of a possibly irreversible and imminent extinction of humans. Videos. In my videos I support the hypothesis that already established agroforests become increasingly biodiverse, carbon sequestering and sustainable if they are used and maintained as they were used and maintained by the Amerindians in the past at least 500 years ago. Agroforests, Climate, Existence and Sequestration of CO2. Consequently, agroforests are important for climate, to feed humans and animals, but most of all for sequestering CO2. A forest and even the Amazon forest do not and never did sequester CO2 unless mortality is in a safe range and they are managed, and also used, as agroforests like the ancient Amerindians knew how to do and did, with cumulative enrichment and sequestering of CO2 in ADE soils and extra biomass as a consequence. Amazon Forest and Relic Agroforests Relic agroforests can still be found in the Amazon forest, still presenting extreme fertility and soil productivity and sequestering CO2 in certain parts of the Amazon forest, but they are extracted and not replaced and consequently in decline and consequently not enough present anymore to also compensate for the increasing exploitation, not even considering deforestation that is an extreme form of exploitation, but also extraction or exploitation considered normal, and not officially. Considered destructive, not even degeneration, but that however inevitably causes progressive degeneration, inevitably leading to collapse independent of fires and deforestation. These relic agroforests also are part of and sustain the biotic pump, BPT, that creates and controls winds coming up from the ocean, possibly attracting even dust from Africa and behind, and in doing so brings water, rain, and cooling to the forests further inland all the way up to the Andes and cycling south and next also east, and in the case of South America, Brazil etc., to the rest of South America, Brazil and behind. Climate in that region and the world is complex, and so much more than CO2 alone. ADE and fossil pollen proof of the ancient practice of agroforest by the Amazon Amarins. ADE and fossil pollen prove the existence of the ancient technique and practice. Relic agroforests also offer us a chance to understand, learn and improve techniques from when I was a consultant studying and comparing management with the objective to enrich the Amazon forest and tropical forests, but even more so the ancient techniques of the Amerindians, that they themselves have lost track of, because they were chased and displaced at least 500 to 1000 years ago. Lack of the ancient practice of agroforest leads to the collapse of tropical forests especially when combined with over-extraction. Lack of application of these ancient Amerindian techniques causes lack of what forests need to sustain and leads to the collapse of the Amazon rainforest, that already miss the megafauna to compensate for the lack of the techniques that ancient Amerindians practiced. For a long time scientists have speculated that without megafauna, which went extinct or driven to extinction thousands of years ago, tropical forests would inevitably collapse. Personally, I think that the collapse of the Amazon forest did not happen yet, because 1. The lack of megafauna was at least partially compensated by not megafauna animals like macaw, toucan and tapir, combined with the ancient agroforest practices of the Amerindians that created resilient Ade soils and a resilient near-continental biotic pump in the first place. 2. Because the relic ADE soils and other enrichments by Amerindians until roughly 1,000 years ago, are still partially in place. 3. Important large-scale degradation through legal and illegal exploitation is a rather recent phenomenon. Combination of fauna and Amerindian. As said, until recently the Amerindian and these smaller animals completed each other, but this has not been the case for at least 500 years. I estimate this has not been the case for at least 1,000 years, because I consider the collapse of the Mayan culture as an index of the collapse of the cultures of indigenous peoples in general. Collapse of the Amerindian culture and agroforest practices. Those who already know my videos have heard from me that the conquests, with very few agents by the conquerors, were not the initial cause, 
but rather a consequence of a collapse that completed already some 500 years before the conquests, and only presented a rather significant aggravation of something that already was taking place. Altogether, I fear that the collapse of the Amazon forest is certain, soon and irreversible if degradation by normal, not considered destructive, exploitation would continue at its current level, even if fires and deforestation were to stop, because the point of no return had already been passed, and the degeneration by normal exploitation that I mention is not recognized. In very simple words, what seems green and intact forest can collapse suddenly. This cannot be avoided by a simple monitoring of what is, rather seems, still intact forest. This is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Bye.